All right, what is your name and what's your uh, business with it's the Patrol. problem here today? Nevada Police Department. You can't have this trailer parked in the city street. It's only limited for loading and unloading. That's the two hour minimum. Okay. Max. You've been on the street for four months now. You've moved up and down. You actively live in the trailer and you drive this car for work. Uh huh. You I do. You can't do that too, also in Arvada. That's against the law. Okay, well. I guess I, I don't really read every single statute and whatever you have written okay. here, but you've got no signs anywhere. Okay, it's municipal code. And you, uh, well... So do you have your license on you? Uh, no. I mean, I mean we're, we're, talking about, we're talking about here what I've done wrong, and I want to make sure what I've done wrong before I give you my license, all right? Okay. Now, I'm telling you that there's no signs. They're putting up signs. Are they putting up signs right now? No. No? Okay. Because I see that sign is new, but uh, just, just, uh, there's no signs here. So in municipal code, like, you got nothing, you got nothing marked. This is a park, man. I'm using the park on a daily basis. Okay. So I'm not here arguments. for more than 72 hours. You, you gave me the warning. You, right now. you gave me the warning, and then I leave. Do you have your license? I can call a supervisor out here, but right now I need Please, a please call a supervisor, sir. License. No, you just I'm said that you you right just now. said that you could call a supervisor. Please call a supervisor. I will while I'm doing the ticket. I've already gotten this approved by a supervisor. It's already no. no let's out. talk to the supervisor first, because I I know that we can do that. So call the supervisor. You can roll your eyes all you want, but I'm being friendly with you here. I just you already said that you're gonna write the ticket. Um, I don't really have any option here, and I'm trying to tell you that you don't even have any signs. You don't even have any signs here letting me know. You gave me one warning okay. in here. So if you says don't want to 72 give license, hours. Still need you to identify yourself. So what's your first name? Um, I'll wait for a supervisor, sir. Okay, this is failure to identify yourself now. I'll yeah. wait for a supervisor, sir. I, you, you just told me. You just you just told me. Way. I asked for your license. What's you know your problem, man? What's your problem? I Were you bullied in high school? I need your name, sir. Because I'm trying to talk to you, and you're trying to escalate this, like most cops do. Sir, I need you're your trying name. to. <laughs> you need my name. Yes. I'm trying to ask you if you can illustrate what crime I've committed, and you're telling me that there's some city code. Can you show me the city code, please? Could you please pr prove? Could, it to you could you please? I don't care what you explain to me. Can you show me the city code that says that I'm going to get a ticket here? Because I'm going to take this to court. Okay. What ha what's going to happen is I'm going to take this to court. I'm going to say, look, you guys don't have signs. I've been fo You gave me one notice. I've been following the what you want me to do in the notice. And now you're just walking the up on me. For abandoned vehicles. Yeah, it was 72 hours. It must be moved. And, and, and I moved. I moved it. That was the notice. For and you're asking me for a driver's license. This isn't even a moving violation. I haven't been in my vehicle That's driving. That's why if you don't want to give me your driver's license, I still need your name. That's why I'm asking for your supervisor, sir. Okay, he's on his way. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna sit here then, and you're not gonna threaten me. How about that? I'm not threatening you, sir. Yeah, you just threaten to escalate and give me more tickets. Yeah, just explaining the law to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm pretty aware of what the law is. I mean, I just like to hear from a supervisor if he could show me a code or something like that because you're just trying to get me to identify myself so that you can harass me. Because if you wanted me to leave, you could have came up and said, hey, man, we're going to give you problems if you keep on staying Adam, here. And you walked up, said, I'm going to give you a ticket. You walked up and said, well, sir, I'm going to give you a ticket, so I'm going to need your ID. There was no there was no discussion with you, so I'm asking, what's your problem? <laughs> a firm out of Wisconsin. I only need to identify if you've accused me of committing a crime, yeah, which it's a municipal code. A municipal code crime? A parking crime? That's still a crime. I wasn't even driving. It's still a crime. I was literally working on my trailer, putting great stuff in there and insulating it. It's still a crime. Mr. Kingsbury, right? Okay. I don't know, you can guess. Uh, I mean you yeah. That to the call if that's what if that's what the plates say. Guess you didn't really need anything from me, did you? Where's your supervisor? I didn't hear you rating, radioing your supervisor. Another plate out of Wisconsin. You want to grab that knife and fold it up for me? I'm sure you feel uh, endangered by that. Lincoln Henry six. You're so smug for like six months of schooling. 
Isn't that what it is? Like six. I don't know what it means. Aren't you the cop? Hey, firm. Lincoln Henry six one five two. Yeah, I know you're a smartass. I get it. You can make all the faces you want. Copy. It's going to be out of Wisconsin. Try listing it as a truck plate. You can make all the faces you want. You didn't come up to me politely and ask me to move. You came up to me and said you're going to be getting written a ticket now. I don't see any signs, so I think the city of Arvada needs to maybe spend a little bit of their budget and put some signs up here that says no overnight parking like they've got everywhere else or whatever it may be, because apparently I have 72 hours according to the only thing that you've ever given me. Okay. Those were again for abandoned vehicles because all the tags on these vehicles They're are not expired. abandoned. They're not abandoned. They're expired. Well, then you're going to need to get me on a driving violation. Okay. You're going to need to wait for me to, you're going to need to wait for me to roll away. And you're going to need to get me on a driving violation. You can't come up and make up some blah, blah, blah. Need to explain the other things. I want to see them in writing. That's I don't care what you, you say. A copy of them. The orange placards that I put there. I have them. They're marked for expired tags on a public roadway. Yeah, and it says they cannot be here for longer than 72 hours. Did you even yeah, read them? The public roadway for cars is seven days. For the trailer, since it doesn't have tags, is 72 hours. But the trailer is hooked to the truck, so... It's all one. Separate entities. And at the time when I, I don't it, believe you. I don't believe you. Here, I'm gonna open my door. I'm gonna. I got the thing right here. The orange thing. Under section fifty four one seventy four, and use of major, major recreational vehicles not exceed seventy two hours. Copy. Can you edit the comments? I don't. Part B, no major recreational vehicle. So this is, you're calling this a recreational vehicle? That's what you're trying to do? Yes. How is this a recreational vehicle? It's a trailer. Isn't that recreation? I'm not going to take that out of your hand and get it back to you. When you go through here, it's 72 hours period. No major recreational vehicle. I haven't boats, broken the 72 hours. Boats, trailers, travel trailers, motorized dwellings, tent trailers, hauling trailers. Would you, I would consider 72 that a hours, trailer. period. So yes. everything after is is, this is just a courtesy, after the seventy two hours. Your courtesy notice. So I've been I've been paying attention to the seventy two hours that you okay. gave me. So that was on that date and time. Right now. And I've I've, been, I've left. Be, I've been parking here during the day. Back to you. The other part, the top sections for your other vehicles, for when it has expired tags, those were under that title. Okay. Okay. This one's going to be municipal code, as I've explained before. These size trailers are only allowed to be in areas on a public road for loading and unloading. It's not going to be on there. So 72 hours. That's for that. That was your courtesy notice. This one is going to be for you being here on a public roadway, not loading or unloading to any of these areas as a job site. And then also under the subsection so, is going to be if you live in a trailer. So if I, if I uh, leave, you know, 72 hours, I, I, I have 70 hours here, and then I leave, and then I go somewhere else for a day. What I'm understanding is I would be able to park back here during the day, which is exactly what I did because I wasn't, I just parked here, sir. You know I just parked here, you sir. this trailer back today, yes. Yeah, yes, I did. But you also just admitted that you're living in the trailer. That's I like also sleep in my car sometimes. I, I sleep wherever I can because, you know what, rent's expensive, and that's because there's too many rich people in this area that don't care about uh, labor forces and stuff like that. It's not affordable housing, so I'm, I'm, I'm beating the system here. Okay, so again, under that same municipal code, there's going to be a section that says you cannot live in a vehicle. Is that vehicle. section on here? It's not going to be on there. Okay, see, you're just trying to like mix the laws and That's like title you're trying to you're trying to convolute the laws and mix That's the laws. State code. I'm quoting municipal code now. Well, I'd like to see the municipal code, and I've never gotten a warning on this opposite municipal code that you have not given me a warning for. You given me a cur courtesy notice of 72 hours, and I'm telling you, 72 hours I have not broken. Okay. So again, since I've gotten this, right now this is municipal code. You know that sometimes municipal code can be sometimes illegal? Right you now, know that, right? I'm just waiting for the supervisor. I'm trying to explain it the best I can. Like, you're going to make me go to court, and you're going to make me fight it in court, and I'm just going to say, look, you, you don't have signs. Okay. Because, like, that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to follow the law. You don't have any no-parking signs or anything like that. And This is not a no-parking zone. You it is not a no-parking, no yes. But you're violating the parking code for parking this size vehicle in this space 
for more than two hours. You're also violating. Oh, it's two hours now. Okay, I've never heard the two hours before. It's loading and unloading for that size trailer. When I marked it the first time, it was for a band. You say that size trailer. Do you know the specifications under that uh, statute? Yes, I can pull them up. Please, I'd love to see it. Okay. I've been asking. My sergeant's here. He's going to come speak to you. Okay. How you doing? 